SpongeBob's voice has changed. Tom Kenny, the man who also voiced the Ice King and many other characters, is the sole voice actor for SpongeBob SquarePants since 1999. If you've noticed SpongeBob's voice and laugh sounding different in the latest seasons, you're not crazy. <laughs> After careful examination of the voice actor and Nickelodeon's practices, I believe I found the reason to the mysterious change in his voice. And trust me, the real answer to why SpongeBob's laugh changed may be darker than we'd hoped. To understand this perspective better, we have to travel back in time to the earliest seasons of SpongeBob and compare his laugh from the past to the present. In the older seasons of SpongeBob, he always had a vibrant and energetic laugh. However, in the latest seasons, listen to SpongeBob's new laugh. The grill is gone. <laughs> the grill is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the grill is gone. SpongeBob's laugh is no longer able to hold that note that we're used to, and his energy has dissipated. Why? And for some of you who are still skeptical to if SpongeBob's laugh has even changed and think I'm just exaggerating, please take a look at this next clip. I hereby franchise this planet in the name of the Krusty Krab. What the fluff? What was that? In 2019, the voice actor SpongeBob, Tom Kenny, had an interview with the Vanity Fair, in which he revealed a very dark secret of having to voice SpongeBob SquarePants throughout the years. The hand technique. <laughs> See, to create SpongeBob's laugh, you have to use an array of hand motions, then apply it to your Adam's apple in a particular motion. Can you see the big scar that I have there after 20 years of doing that? Tom Kenny reveals that after 20 years of doing that, he's developed a scar. Could this scar have been growing and getting worse each year he's voiced the iconic Sponge? Does this explain the new laugh of SpongeBob? However, later in the same interview, Tom claims that the show is not to blame for him getting this scar. Uh, no, that's actually not from doing SpongeBob. But he immediately drops the topic and never discusses how it got there in the first place. We have to remember that 20 years is a very long time. And even if he didn't develop the scar from voicing SpongeBob, was it worsening by him being on the show? If you scratch a pencil for a few seconds, nothing will happen. But if you do that all day, I'm pretty sure something will show. Another possibility as to why SpongeBob's voice changed is that Tom Kenny might be getting older. According to Google, as people get older, their voice box, cores, and voice producing mechanisms age along with the rest of their bodies. Now watch this, the age-related voice changes, develops as muscle and other tissues in the larynx and vocal cords shrink, thin, and stiffen. Is it possible that Tom Kenny's voice as SpongeBob is hindered slightly by this scientific process? With all this being said, I want you guys to know that Tom has done a phenomenal job as SpongeBob. I couldn't picture SpongeBob without Tom's voice. The two go hand in hand even today. But I needed to bring this up because I couldn't ignore the obvious change in his voice. Tom Kenny still kills it on the cartoon with an amazing passionate tone. But is it possible he's received instruction from the higher ups to take it easy and tone down his acting so he doesn't completely lose his SpongeBob voice forever? Seeing how big of a cash cow the franchise is, I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to preserve this man as long as possible. Here's an example of what I mean. You guys know when kids scream at the top of their lungs in a black cat lobby in VR chats and they eventually lose their voice after long periods? If a person actually tones their voice down to a medium scream, they would be able to preserve it and actually last way longer without losing their voice as opposed to a full volume, high energy scream the whole way. Forget all the recorded and edited sessions of this man's voice. Let's take a look at a live performance of Tom Kenny's voice impression of SpongeBob in the modern world. <laughs> Very interesting. It's still SpongeBob, but something's a little bit different. Personally, I believe there are so many factors to this that it's hard to pinpoint which one it is. Could be a combination of everything. Check this out. First off, 
Tom Kenny could be intentionally choosing the levels of how hard he wants to put on the SpongeBob personage on a scale of 1 to 10, 7.5 being the minimum for the recent episodes, and then 10 for short in person interviews, with the exception of the clip I just showed you where it sounds like a 7.5. But I believe another factor, such as tiredness, plays a role too. He might have gotten up early that day or didn't get much sleep and was caught off guard with this, so it's not really a fair analysis. In a recent fan favorite special here on YouTube, Tom Kenny nails it with his impression with a 10 out of 10 on the voice scaling board. Which leads me to believe that he probably chooses what level he wants to do. <laughs> so, has SpongeBob's voice changed throughout the years? Yes. Has SpongeBob's laugh changed throughout the years? Yes. Also, before I was about to conclude this research, I realized that Tom Kenny's probably laughed times three of what we're all assuming. You know when actors read lines and they have to redo takes multiple times so they get it right? I'm assuming he's done at least three times per episode, plus that 20 years, and he's still nailing the impression, albeit a little different, but we still appreciate it, cause no one can play Spongebob like that man can. It's crazy how Tom has voiced so many cartoon characters throughout the years, not just Spongebob. Fun fact, did you know there's only one voice actor for Super Sonic for Super Mario on YouTube? Click that link in the description to watch an amazing rap battle of two characters head to head. Thank you guys for watching this video. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think that SpongeBob's voice has changed? Leave that comment down below. I'll be reading the comments, seeing what people think. You know, what do you think is the reason for that change? Why do you think that his voice has changed? Am I crazy? Are you crazy? Are we all crazy? Or did it change? And why did it change? Is it his age? Is it Nickelodeon? Is it the scar? What, what's going on here? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. You've seen them before. It's been three years since the original Mario vs. Sonic rap battle. Tell your friends, tell your mom to not miss this cartoon rap battle. All our encounters have led up to this moment. What's going on? Mario is transforming. The Wristwater King. Check out Super Mario vs. Super Sonic Cartoon Rap Battles by Kolobi Productions. Link in description. That's Super Mario vs. Super Sonic Cartoon Rap Battles. Link in description. We are at the end of the video, and today I wanted to highlight some fan art that was sent to me on Twitter. I wanted to showcase this phenomenal work. This looks amazing. I mean, look at Kolobi. Look at the announcer. This is the Cartoon Rap Battle Arena. If you guys ever want to do some fan art, share it on Twitter. I might see it. I might not. I don't know. Twitter's been kind of bugging me lately. I can't even log in. But this is amazing. And I think this was really well done. So, guys, look at this. The artist is on screen. Very talented here. You can see this was almost like painted in. Man, wow, you guys are talented. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.